Hey, what's up everyone? So um, yeah, welcome back to this brand new and uh, exciting video in glorious virtual reality. And today I'm going to show you the ultimate way of watching your favorite movies and series on your quest. That's right, if you have Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, YouTube Premium or whew, any other subscription uh, service out there basically, this is the video to watch. Heck, even if you don't use any of these, then don't worry. I will show you that with little to no money, you can have a blast as well. So get ready. If you always dreamed of owning a private theater that you can invite all your friends to with the coziest seats, unlimited amounts of snacks, and being able to step into this place from wherever you want, like on a plane flight or while sitting in a car, then I'm about to blow your mind. There are plenty of entertainment focused applications available on Quest, such as Virtual Desktop and Oculus TV. But in my opinion, the best VR app that offers the full package is Big Screen. It has everything you need, from the social aspect to the coolest locations to relax in. It's free to download and supports cross-platform, meaning that it doesn't matter what VR headset you or your friends own, you will always be able to meet up. Not only does Big Screen allow you to watch movies with a bunch of people from around the world, it's also an app in where you can play your favorite video games on a huge screen, hang out in chat rooms, participate in weekly movie nights, live rocket launches and so much more. Anyways, give me the opportunity to show you how you can get the most out of this application. So first up, you can download Big Screen on the official Quest store. Overall, it has been rated fairly positive and has a good standing within the VR community. When booting it up, you will be met with a short tutorial on how to control the menus and how to make your way through Big Screen itself. After that, it takes you to your home environment where you will spend most of your time. There's also a lobby where you can chit chat with strangers or meet up with friends. It's always a pleasure to go there as you never know what you run into. Sometimes or maybe I should say most of the time it can be super random and uh, chaotic. It's good to know that the lobby isn't just about throwing popcorn and tomatoes at each other. No, you can also use it to hop straight into a movie with your party. And what's awesome too, by the way, is that you get to create an avatar that you can completely customize with outfits, hats and even eyewear. Fancy. When you open the main menu, you can see that Big Screen themselves offer rentals. They sadly do not have a subscription model, so you will have to purchase movies separately. Looking at their prices and the fact you can only rent for 48 hours, it's still cheaper to go for a Netflix or Prime. But there is one reason why you might want to consider renting one or two movies from Big Screen, and that is 3D. Yes, as you may know, streaming platforms have stopped offering 3D movies a long time ago. Something that, funny enough, has proven to be truly next level in VR. Speaking from my own experience, I can say that it actually works way better with a VR headset on than wearing those flimsy glasses in a real cinema. Movies come to life in a way you have never experienced before. So if you want to check it out, then Big Screen's 3D rental service is a welcoming addition. Important to mention though is that if you want to watch one of these movies together with a friend, you both have to rent the same film. Next to that, uh, Big Screen offers a handful of movies and TV channels that you can tune into without paying anything. The lineup of free TV channels isn't bad at all, but the movies that play are usually quite ancient. Still, it can be fun to watch them in presence of others. You can find the latest premieres in the lobby. Just keep an eye out on the moving banners to see uh, what's available. What makes Big Screen so unique is its social aspect. In the app you have the option to participate in public rooms and let me tell you, there is always something fun to join. There are just people doing all kinds of things and it's always a surprise what you run into. If that's not your cup of tea, then don't worry. You can create a private room that only you or your friends know about. You decide how many users come in and go out at any time. As I said before, it's nice that you can choose out of a selection of more than 20 stunning environments. You can for example go to a drive-in, a small private theater, a cozy screening in a forest, a grand Oscar themed cinema and even a simulated bathroom. So you can watch movies while lying down. I tried this myself and it's awesome. 
Now, as I mentioned before, it is possible to use Netflix, Disney+, Amazon Prime, Hulu, etc. in big screen. The developers have not struck a deal with these uh, streaming services, meaning that getting access to them will require a bit more effort. To make this work, you need three things. One, a computer or a laptop. Two, big screen's remote uh, desktop software. And three, Firefox. It doesn't matter what hardware you have, as long as your computer or laptop has a stable internet connection, you don't have to worry that much. You can download Big Screen software by visiting their website called uh, BigScreenVR.com. I will make sure there is a link in the description below so you don't have to look it up. On the front page, you want to click on the download button and choose the remote desktop client. Install this software, takes a few uh, seconds and then log in with your account or make one first. Make sure your Quest and external device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And that's it, the software will do the rest of the work for you. The moment it turns green, you are officially ready to go. Last but not least, you need uh, to download Firefox, log into your favorite streaming service and pick a movie or series you want to watch in VR. The reason why it's Firefox and not Chrome or Opera is because it's the only browser that plays videos without any problems in big screen. Anyways, when you now put the headset back on, you should see your PC slash laptop screen in front of you. Congratulations and uh, enjoy of course. Don't forget that you can uh, change uh, some settings too, like the subtitles, bitrate and the stream's resolution. If your internet isn't the fastest, I highly recommend you starting with the lower resolution first and build up from there. When you have problems hearing no audio, make sure to double check the volume mixer and see if big screen is the only source enabled under speakers. This is a beginner's mistake. It's also smart to use a pair of headphones to be completely immersed and maybe a head strap that is more flexible and softer because the elite one that I use is not made for movies. It totally sucks. Before I uh, wrap up this video, I do want to show you how you can watch movies offline in case you are on the road. Big chance you have no stable or fast enough internet when you are seated in a train, bus or airplane. And in that case, it's time for plan B and that is watching movies locally. To make the magic happen, you want to upload the source file of the movie to the Quest itself. And you can do this by connecting the headset to your PC or laptop by using its charging cable. Or you can use a USB-C to USB-A cable, depending on the ports you have available. Make sure the headset is turned on when you do so and accept a message inside your Quest asking for permission to access its data. On your desktop under My PC, the Quest folder should now appear and you can start uploading the movie file. So open it, click on internal shared storage and find the movies folder. This is the place where you want to drop all your movie files. When you're done, safely unplug the cable and return to big screen. Open the menu and uh, hit the orange button that says video player and then click on local video files. I know it's a bit of work, but allows you to enjoy your favorite movies from wherever you want. In case you don't see the stuff you uploaded, restart the app and uh, try again. And there you go my friends, that's how you watch uh, movies in VR on your Quest. I hope this video was useful, if it was then make sure to slam that like button and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more guides. Yeah, I recently uploaded a great tips and tricks video that you just have to watch. If you're interested, then you can click on the info tab above to check it out. Uh, I worked on it for a couple of weeks and it uh, covers all the ins and outs of the quest. Uh, oh, and let me know in the comments below what movie or series you are going to watch uh, first. I'm very curious to hear what you would pick. And with that being said, until next time, don't eat too much popcorn, I warn you, and um, see you in the metaverse, of course. The one that is owned by us all. Bye-bye, see ya.